let's have a little fun with music theory. Even if you have no notion of what the chords I'm about to describe are, you will understand the feelings they give you when you hear them, and that is the point. Music, like parenting styles and behaviors, should focus on balance through atmosphere, not through semantics. Parenting is an essential part of the functioning of society. Let's call healthy parenting a big C major chord. Healthy parenting styles raise people who can function well in the world. Unhealthy parenting styles cause a plethora of problems. A known and criticized unhealthy parenting style is known as helicopter parenting. Let's characterize that with these frantic notes in some chords that some love and some hate. Conversely, authoritative parenting produces healthy results in children. Some chords to, re to represent this are these chords. While these two parenting styles are different, both involve high levels of parental involvement in their children's lives, and it can be difficult to figure out which behaviors are a part of healthy parenting. Most of the behaviors and processes described in the sources can be boiled down to how parents communicate with their children. Generally, empathy is considered a part of authoritative parenting, while obsessive involvement in children's lives and relationships characterizes helicopter parenting. The nuances are essential to finding a healthy balance. Parents should avoid the controlling nature of helicopter parenting, but maintain the high level of responsiveness in authoritative parenting to help their child grow in a healthy way. Let's establish a definition of helicopter parenting, since the term is often taken out of context or misunderstood. According to a scholarly study, helicopter parenting is an over-involved, over-controlling parenting style that likely interferes with children's healthy development of authenticity. Turner, page 500. Authenticity is the desire for self-determination and the ability to have and be conscious of genuine experiences, emotions, and relationships. It is essential for children to develop these characteristics as they grow up, and parents should be aware of them. In addition to helicopter parenting inhibiting authenticity, many studies have shown that helicopter parenting may adversely affect emerging adults' well-being through its impact on the satisfaction of their basic psychological needs of autonomy, competence, and relatedness, according to Schifrin et al., page 967. The complaint that even popular media gets right about helicopter parenting is that college-aged students and young adults whose parents hovered too much lack autonomy and problem-solving skills. It can be tempting for many parents to hover over their children to an extreme degree since the line of the correct degree is difficult to draw. The obsessive hovering that characterizes helicopter parenting may be an attempt to maintain a connection with the children, which is a positive intention. However, helicopter parenting's indirect negative effects on children's autonomy, genuine emotional connections, and relatedness can often leave them resentful of their parents and lacking social skills when they transition into adulthood. Amy Joyce describes anecdotal evidence of the negative effects of helicopter parenting that extends to college-aged children. College staff note that children of helicopter parenting feel helpless to solve small problems away from home, and their parents overstep boundaries even at that age to help solve the problems. Popular news may be overly critical of helicopter parenting because of the stark difference between this parenting style and past ones. Parenting in past generations tended to be so uninvolved that it left children desiring a stronger connection with their parents, so some of the next generation overcompensated. Helicopter parenting being the opposite of a negative, uninvolved parenting style seems ideal, but as in many cases, it is necessary to find a balance between over-involvement and less involvement to foster authenticity and genuine connectedness in children. This balance is where the ideal parenting style, authoritative parenting, comes in. According to several studies, two key dimensions of authoritative parenting are parental warmth and control, with consistent warmth and appropriate control being associated with positive developmental outcomes in youth. According to Goring and Mug, page 1308, this balance between nurturing children and maintaining an appropriate amount of control is very important for parents to keep in mind. Authoritative parenting also fosters authenticity, children's capability for self-determination and genuine relationships. As the world moves more into online spaces, bringing children and teenagers with it, authenticity is important there as well, since parenting style is indirectly related to online empathy and online authenticity through moral identity, according to Morgan and Fowers on page 196. Empathy in children comes about because of authoritative parenting's emphasis on balance between warmth, control, and communication between parents and children. Autonomy and parent-child relationships are also essential for children to grow up in a healthy environment. Studies have shown that parenting styles that grant autonomy and parent-child relationships that foster intersubjectivity are likely to set the stage for children to develop a sense of authenticity. In this context, intersubjectivity refers to the parent and child being in sync and sharing mutual understanding of events, feelings, or behaviors, according to Turner et al. The ability for children to connect with their parents on this deep level certainly increases their trust in the parents, which helps parents to have a healthy amount of control in their children's lives without needing to overstep boundaries to maintain control, as is common in helicopter parenting. 
the differences between helicopter parenting and authoritative parenting, while in some senses clear, remains complicated in other areas. In the sense of affecting positive behaviors, including pro-social ones, helicopter parenting is associated with some types of pro-social behaviors but not others, according to Sherman et al., page 1, 967. Pro-social behaviors are behaviors that children exhibit that are meant to help other people, which children should develop, and are often influenced by parenting styles, generally with authoritative parenting fostering more altruistic pro-social behaviors. While helicopter parenting's effects are blurry in this aspect, a positive side of helicopter parenting is actually that parents are actively concerned and involved with their young adult children, and this support can genuinely benefit the way that children experience college, according to Cohn. The media views coddled kids as an inherently bad consequence of involved parents. However, children may not need to become independent as soon as possible. Independence is more of a Western cultural ideal than an essential part of healthy parenting. The involvement Cohn mentions seems to be a part of both helicopter and authoritative parenting. So, while parenting styles are debated, perhaps a more important focus is the outcomes in children. Optimal behaviors and processes for children's healthy growth include a wide variety, but the literature highlights several terms that differentiate the aforementioned parenting styles authenticity, connectedness, relatedness, and autonomy. According to Turner et al., authenticity refers to self-awareness and a genuine expression of the self and is important for college students as they traverse the opportunities and challenges of emerging adulthood on page 500. Authenticity has a negative relationship with rates of depression among young adults. Clearly, depression is not an optimal nor a healthy outcome for children. Therefore, to mitigate depression, children need to process their own self-expression and become self-aware so they can process new emotions for themselves as life changes. Genuine expression of the self is also positive in that children will learn to express their emotions to other people and ask for help, both from their parents and from other support systems as they grow older. Relatedness and autonomy are also an important combination of behaviors for children to develop. These terms are defined as such. Autonomy represents an individual's sense of volition or choice, and relatedness refers to the desire to feel connected to each other's, according to Chevron et al. on page 967. Children have a need to develop these processes in tandem because of the balance they create. Making personal choices while connecting with peers and parents supports mental health in years to come. Another healthy process for children to develop that was discussed in multiple articles and studies was empathy. Empathy is an essential behavior for children to learn even from a young age because empathy motivates individuals to help others by being able to take another perspective and attend to their feelings and needs. With empathy, children can take care of themselves and others. According to Morgan and Bowers, this translates into the online space along with moral engagement behaviors. A strong moral identity was shown to foster genuine self-expression, authenticity, and empathy. Online empathy is important because a lack of empathy is an obvious variable that is related to the perpetration of bullying online, on page 184, and as the issue of cyberbullying and self-worth stemming from social media increases, children need to learn empathy as a whole population to hopefully prevent the effects of a lack of empathy in online spaces. Empathy also prevents troubling experiences in the physical world. According to a longitudinal study by Goring and Rugg, A stronger sense of empathy directly relates to reduced delinquent behavior, on page 1315. All in all, empathy is clearly a necessary behavior for kids to learn. What, then, are the best methods for parents to use to foster empathy, autonomy, relatedness, and authenticity? The key to the best methods is the atmosphere that parents create in their home. In a study on empathy being the link between healthy parenting and decreased delinquency, Adolescents who voluntarily shared information with their parents and who perceived their parents as nurturing and supportive during early adolescence developed higher levels of empathy over time. Adolescents' development of empathy is nurtured by parents who provide warmth in the form of physical affection, as well as emotional support in the form of praise and encouragement. And parents who establish an atmosphere in which adolescents feel comfortable sharing information about their lives on a regular basis, according to Gory Mug on page 1314. Warmth and encouragement create a safe space. One can conclude then, though it may be cliche, that love is an essential method in parenting. How love comes across is important, as the literature enumerates. Appropriate control over children's lives determines the development of empathy. Studies have shown that parents who exhibit inappropriate control have children who demonstrate lower levels of empathy, according to Schiffer et al. on page 966. So, once again, this balance 
balance of control is essential to the atmosphere the parents create for their children and is the main method for creating empathy along with autonomy, relatedness, and authenticity. These behaviors, including pro-social behaviors, are directly correlated with psychological needs satisfaction, so say Schifrin et al. on page 973. Parents need to focus on meeting their children's needs to create this nurturing atmosphere in which children feel safe. The best overarching way to balance these methods for a healthy parenting style is high responsiveness but an appropriate level of control. The former is involved in both authoritative and helicopter parenting styles, while an appropriate level of control is best seen in authoritative parenting. Something both styles achieve well is that they do not neglect children, which is incredibly harmful. Autonomy should be supported rather than independence forced, which does require nuance in the behavior of parents. To simplify this for parents, they should model empathetic behavior when they provide emotional support and respond with understanding and empathy to children's disclosure of private information, according to Goring Mug on page 1314. Modeling empathy can help parents identify and practice the balance of healthy parenting styles they want to achieve, and children will learn these skills from their parents by both watching and listening. All in all, parents need to keep in mind that they should be as responsive as possible to their children, while acknowledging that their children are growing and need to be supported even in their independence. As stated, it is necessary for children to develop both autonomy, independence in a sense, and relatedness, dependence in a sense, which may seem contradictory. However, it is all about balance. The supportiveness in helicopter parenting is healthy, though the entire hovering parenting style is not. Meanwhile, all aspects of authoritative parenting are healthy but may be hard to remember. Therefore, parents should not necessarily focus on whether they are doing helicopter or authoritative parenting, but rather on the loving environment they are creating to foster appropriate and healthy behaviors in their children. As parents model and encourage empathy and genuine communication and expression, children will learn and naturally exhibit these healthy behaviors because of their parents' balanced, healthy parenting.